Hey guys, Justin here. Welcome to another video on the AI Behavior Toolkit. The toolkit has just been updated to version 1.4.1. Uh, this version has a lot of new features, but the major feature for this update is the new parkour system. So your AI can now move through different obstacles, different types of obstacles throughout the map and I'll show you how to use it and I'll demonstrate how the AI moves throughout this obstacle that I just built right here. As you can see there are no special helpers for the AI, it's just a normal map with some obstacles. So I'm going to use the default BPNPC companion because it already has the following feature that we want will just follow the player around. Uh, if you scroll down here we can see the parkour system so to enable it you just check can parkour that will enable the parkour system for this AI. Uh, jumps only means the AI will only use jumps the normal jumps that the UE4 character uses. Um, if you check that it will not use these animations right here our vaulting and climbing animations. Uh, we won't be checking this for now. So uh, let's, c let's go play. If I jump over this obstacle right here, the AI should follow. And as you can see, he vaults over this thin obstacle right here. And if we jump over here, we should also climb that. And we have a gap here. We have a larger gap here. If I jump over here, the AI will also jump through gaps like this so gaps on the nav mesh volume are also respected. Here we have a high obstacle in which I can't go through without crouching so if I crouch the AI will also crouch and automatically he just follows me through th through this obstacle right here. Uh, the trick, there's a trick here with the crouching. If you put a high obstacle like this, make sure that the nav mesh volume is still present below that object so that the AI knows that this part is actually passable. Okay? So that's how you make the crouching work for the AI. Uh, we have some higher walls here. Let's just go climb them. As you can see, the AI follows. Uh, you can have, you can put your own animations on them. You know, your own climbing and vaulting animations. I'm not really an animator, so <laughs> you, yeah, you can just have your own. Uh, you can put them. I showed it to you before. These vault and climb animations. The difference between these normal and these wide animations is uh, based on the obstacle. Here we have a thin obstacle, so if you jump over this, the AI will use the normal vaulting animations because it's thin enough to land uh, to land on the other side. But if it's thick like this, it will use the vault wide animations because it needs to land on top of the obstacle. So uh, yeah, that's the parkour system. Uh, to quickly demonstrate that this is actually dynamic and you know, you can use any type of obstacle you want. I'm just gonna place that right there and if you jump over it, yeah, I should follow. So yeah, it's completely dynamic. It just depends on the map and the obstacles that you put. So that's the parkour system. Cheers guys.